Hello everyone. Over the last few years I've been sending you update letters every couple of weeks. Much of what I tell you is information or views formed from my own experiences running the school. But much of the information equally comes from guidance that we receive from the Scottish Government, from Education Scotland, the SQA, Career Service, NHS or of course from the local authority information that is linked to areas such as transport and catering. I also pass on information I receive from the deputies who are responsible for leading areas of school development. It could be information from Kevin Champion about pastoral care or health issues, from Aileen Jackson about attainment or parental engagement. It could be from Lauren Morrison about SQA or primary transition or from Robert Ledbetter concerning areas of IT issues. These of course are just a few examples of the work that they do. As well as the writing the, of the letters, we've also been making wee videos working on the assumption that people generally prefer to watch and listen to the news rather than to read it. The videos are quite popular, not just the ones that the staff put out, but much more so the ones that are made by the senior pupils. So in an effort to make best use of our time and not to double up on the workload, I'd like to try and keep the videos going to share the general news. So I've asked the clan deputies to work with our clan leaders to prepare a video each week. Each deputy or clan leaders will have two minutes to share some success from the current week and to highlight an event or promotion for the following week. This will keep you aware of what we've been up to as well as informed about what to expect. Now if there are any formal information items that we require to share with you or where there's information that we're going to share that has links in it, that information will come in formal letters. So, I'd ask that should you wish to keep abreast of the success of our school and to learn more about what we're doing, just as you would watch Sky or BBC News on your phone or your telly, please watch the Open High School News in the same manner. Now this week our seniors are out doing their leadership training at Lochiel, so our first news item is from the deputies only. And just before I pass over to my colleagues and on the subject of communication, we're also posting our assemblies online. This will help ensure that parents interested in hearing what we share with the kids can do so. But just as importantly, the kids that are absent from uh, school can keep abreast of the information that we share in assemblies, just like when we share the lessons with kids over Google Classroom when they miss a lesson. Please sign on to the YouTube channel and please sign up to the school app for parents to get all the news, transport warnings, diary reminders and links to documents that we issue. We also post on Instagram for the pupils. However, Please don't try and communicate with us over Facebook. We don't really use Facebook that much. If you need us, email your guidance teacher and they'll support you to get whatever support you require, put you in touch with whomever you require. I hope you all have a lovely weekend ahead. Eh, let's hope the sun comes out again, eh? Right, thanks very much everyone. See you all soon. Hello everybody. Nice to be giving a short video again. I've had a really great first week. I really enjoy getting back to my routines and working with all the staff and pupils. First of all, we welcomed five more pupils from the Ukraine and I'd like to express my thanks for how welcoming and supportive our pupils and staff have been. We've posted a video of the whole school assembly for this week, congratulating our pupils on their successes recently and reminding everyone as to what our high expectations look like. Almost exactly a year ago, Princess Anne and Sir Tim Lawrence spent about three hours in Oban High, and one of their many comments was about how well presented all our pupils were, and the sense of pride they had in the school. It reminded me, whether we like it or not, how important first impressions are, and that they do count. The first impressions from this week were just as positive with virtually every pupil starting their days in uniform, on time and ready to learn. I personally spoke gently with each pupil who wasn't in uniform, listened to them and we worked out what to do next. It was heartwarming as to how respectfully and considerate of each of these pupils was, demonstrating mutual respect. It was very special. Next week, I'm looking forward to promoting the Uniform Reuse and Recycling Initiative set up by Open Baptist Church. The Revenue and Benefits Manager for our Garland Butte and the Grab Trust are also being very supportive. We'd like to encourage all families in our primary schools and at the high school to take advantage of this great asset for our community. 
I'm also looking forward to planning a community commission on the responsible use of social media, based on the success of the uniform commission that we ran last March. So as you can see, I have really enjoyed this week and I'm eagerly anticipating an even more enjoyable week next week. Thank you. Hi everyone, we've had a really, really busy first week back. Um, a couple of my highlights, last Friday we had addressing non-attendance uh, training and this was a really, really good day that we worked in partnership with our EdPsych colleagues uh, with social work and health and some of our local partners like H2O, the Youth Cafe um, and Young Carers and we are going to be working together on helping young people to come to school more. Um, the other highlight of my week is our SPLT. They have been with Joan Reynolds and David Ferguson at Lockheel and they've been completing a five day leadership and team building course. And by all accounts, they are now very tired. They've just returned, but they have had a fantastic week and are rearing to go next week with all the events that they've got lined up. Uh, and I've already heard from one of the team, uh, the team leaders at Lochiel, and he said that they are one of the best groups that they have ever had there. And that's testament to the young people that we have in our school. Looking forward to next week, I'm one of the main tasks that I'm going to have is organising this year's prize giving. We are going to be in person and it's going to be on Thursday the 1st of September from 7 o'clock to 8.30. Everyone is welcome to come along. We're going to have some performances from our young people and obviously celebrating this year's successes that all our young people have demonstrated in their SQA exams, but also successes with endeavours with vocational courses and, and basically giving back to the community. So I hope you can come along. That's a week on Thursday, the 1st of September from 7 to 8.30pm 8 8 in our school atrium. Face Grimal Huladunya. It's been a great first week back at Oban High School. I've really enjoyed meeting all the new S1s again after our successful transition days in June. Uh, we've all settled in really well, I think. Uh, the first years have really, really, really impressed me. I've been really amazed by how quickly they've learned where to find things. They've been really confident and gone off to find their own way around the building really quickly so well done to them and as I say thank you for a great first week. Going into next week one of the things that I'd like to remind our senior pupils of is appeals. So if you did not get your estimated grade in your SQA exam remember you have the right to appeal that grade and your class teacher will hold evidence for you to show the estimated grade that you were capable of. So if you didn't receive that estimated grade, could you please make sure that you get in touch with your subject teacher from last year and have a chat about the evidence that we hold for you and let your subject teacher know that you want to go ahead with an appeal and we'll get that processed for you. The alternative way to do that is to go to www.sqa.org.uk and you can register your intent to appeal through uh, the SQA system there. Okay, that's all from me. Thanks very much, everyone. Hi everyone, I hope you're well, I hope you've had a good first week. If you've not, it's been a challenging week getting back into routines and schedules and having to eat at set times. But I want to take this opportunity to talk through some of the exciting opportunities that you need to grab while you're here at school. I wanted to talk about your comfort zone and one of my favourite quotes here on the screen saying life begins at the end of your comfort zone. It's okay to feel uncomfy. And what happens is when you realize you've survived that, you grow and you're able to take on new challenges and new experiences. That could be new clubs, new subjects, new styles of learning, new friends, new situations. And when you survive those, you grow and you continually don't push out your comfort zone. If you never try, you'll never know. Get yourself involved in these, these new things, especially while you've got the energy and time I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes. And I think you could shape your whole future, in fact, your whole life around these four words. And they're this, dream big, work hard, be kind. You stick to those things, you will have an absolutely fantastic year. I can't wait to see you all growing throughout the year and look forward to seeing all the things that you can produce, all the friendships that you make, as you head towards exciting futures. Have a great week next week. Look forward to seeing you taking part in all the Highland Games activities too. Have a great time. See you soon.